So perhaps let's start with being leaner and more efficient. Have you thought about where you're actually spending your money on your farm and where you might be able to make subtle but important changes, such things as using your nitrogen a little bit more effectively, get the timing right, you'll be able to use a lower rate because you're going to get a better response and if you use it in the right place at the right time, it's going to be more efficient. Have you looked at your animal health bill? Are there areas where you're spending money which might be good in theory, but are they really actually delivering? Take a look at those sorts of things. And then also have a look at wastage around your farm. If you can reduce wastage, you're actually going to save money. Have a look at that side of stack. Are you actually getting everything out of it that you should? Are you getting the solar stack covered properly? All those sorts of things actually add up. They add layer upon layer of cost savings, which will ultimately end up in returning your business. It's not going to be just about cutting, cutting costs. It's about getting the same or better result with less dollars. And it's possible you can do it. Now we can talk about uh, feed budgeting, but I'd like to give you a slightly different angle on feed budgeting. Something to think about is how much grass are you growing on your farm? If you were to go and use the Dairy NZ uh, Pasture Growth Calculator, you would actually be able to back calculate from previous year's information how much grass you're growing on your farm. And then what I've found is that if you actually allocate pasture at 5,000 kilograms of pasture per cow or more, then you are more likely to have the right stocking rate, you are more likely to not be overusing supplementary feed and you're giving yourself an opportunity to get that 400 plus kilograms of milk solids per cow. So find out how much grass you're growing per hectare, divide that by 5,000 kilograms per cow and that would give you an indication of stocking rate. Just to go over that again, if you were to be growing 15 tonne of pasture and you want a 5 tonne of pasture per cow, that's 3 cows per hectare. I write a monthly publication called Milk Lines and I just recently put in there an article around how you're going to make more from less. So this is my little pet idea around this that uh, I believe it's, it's built into talking about farm systems but what the other important thing that it does is it takes us past the survival mode of just cutting costs. It's actually really about a plan that you might think about implementing that is really actually trying to do more with less. So the theory around this is that we'll take, for example, a farm that is putting three tonne of supplementary feed into the farm system. Okay? Now, how good would it be if you could remove that three tonne of supplementary feed that is purchased, take it out of the farm system and replace it with homegrown forage? Well, it can be done. So that three tonne of feed, it won't, be, it won't happen in one year, I must add. It's going to take a couple of years to do this. But what you do is you actually increase the amount of cropping area that you have in your farm. You'll get more regrassing in as a result of that, and you'll increase your pasture yield. So I would suggest to you that there are most farms in New Zealand that have the ability to increase the amount of homegrown feed by three tonne. That's the combination of more pasture and the effect of actually getting high yielding crops into the farm system. You put that into the operation, you remove three tonne of supplementary feed at a cost and replace that with a homegrown feed. And according to my numbers, you have in the order of five to seven hundred dollars per hectare more gain in profitability. That is just from implementing the system. So what we do is we spend less and with this three tonne of extra feed in the, in the system, we have the ability to produce more. The key takeaways from this is that we don't know how long we're going to be in this lower payout environment. It could be six months, it could be six years. So what are we going to do to work through this? We are going to need farm systems change. We're going to need to remain good at removing costs out of our business. We want to be the lowest cost producer of milk in, in the world. But we're also going to have to think about things that hold up or even improve our productivity. So being efficient with our inputs, but then actually making changes to our farm system that will allow us to hold or improve production. It's absolutely vital. And to that end, recall what I said before. If we can actually remove three tonne of supplementary feed out of our farm system and grow three tonne more grass on our farm, we're actually going to be more profitable. So have a look at the strengths and weaknesses in your business. As I've said, it might be about being just more efficient. It might be actually trying to grow your production base. But either way, go out there and make the right decisions.